Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Nerd. Nerd. How dare you ignore my calls. First, first you stand me up. And now, now you don't even pick up the phone. What's the big idea here, loser? Maybe you're just busy. Yeah, um, nerd, scratch that first part. I didn't mean it. You didn't stand me up. That would, it would imply I asked you out on a date, which I didn't. Never. I'm not in the habit of asking out. Losers, you know. I just wanted you to come to this party because it was going to be boring and I, I needed somebody to make fun of. Well, of course, you didn't show. You said you were at school, but then you bailed, you little rat. Don't think I'm going to let this one slide. If I see you in class on Monday, I'll make sure you learn how to respect me. Just you wait. I, uh, I kind of wish you had come, though. The pie sucked. I was bored, 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 bored out of my mind the entire time. Everyone inside was so empty, stale, absorbed in their own little bubble. I've been to so many parties that I just don't seem to enjoy them anymore, not unless. I don't know. I really wish you would have come. Listen, nerd. 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 It's kind of fun to say, you know. Nerd. But listen, 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 listen. There's something I wanted to to, to to say to you. But I can't. I can't I don't quite remember what it was. Oh, it's too much. I'm not thinking straight. I'm so drunk that, you know, if you were with me, my car right now, I'd probably put you on my lap and make out with you. you know? So, that's something to think about. I bet that would be nicer than staying holed up in your room all the evening writing your assignments and, admittedly, writing mine. Mine is due next Tuesday, by the way. You better have it ready on time. Or else. But, I feel like I'm getting kind of side... sidetracked. Uh... I am, there was something I wanted to say to you. I've been wanting to say it for a long time, I think. Oh, liquid, me liquid. Uh, I, I, I may only be saying this because I'm so drunk. Like you, you idiot. There, I said it. You can stop. Looking like a goldfish out of water now. Jeez, you're not even on the line, and I can practically hear your look of surprise. Before you asked, uh, no, this isn't a prank or any of that. I like you as a friend, crap. I like, I like you. I've liked you ever since you explained Shakespeare to me. I never thought I'd enjoy reading The Merchant of Venice before I met you, and you taught me. Algebra. I... I meant algebra. Don't smirk like that, you, you fool. I actually scored higher than you on that paper. The world seems so distorted. It's raining. And my windshield is all blurry and... And there... Wait. There's balloons. They look like balloons. No, oh, it's... Got it. There's, there's a neon balloons, and they're, they're everywhere. They're zipping past outside every so often. The balloons look pretty, but my head ah, starts to hurt. If I look at them for too long, I wish you could see this sight with me. I like it, I think. Like, 
like your quietness, how you listen, because you want to answer, but for the sake of listening, or like your cologne and your dressing style, your basic, but that's, it's fine, really. I like how you get so awkward around other people and how you get so shy and flustered around me. I like teasing you and tripping you up in the hallways, but I also like making stupid jokes around you because you always smile at them for some reason. Seeing you smile makes me feel strange things. It's like drinking too much alcohol, but when you wake up, there's no migraine only. Heartache. Heartache. I can't believe I actually said that, you know? I think I might just, like, delete this voicemail and stuff. I can figure out how to do that. You can delete voicemails, right? Nerd. Nerd. I love you. 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 Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love 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 you. I love you. In case it was still unclear, I want. I want to. I want to mark you as mine. For all the world to see how I'm done of you. I want to put a collar on you and show you off to my friends. I want to put you in your place when you don't obey me. And I want to kiss you whenever I feel like it. Your lips, your nose, your cheeks, your eyes. I want to kiss you until you're senseless. You're mine. Do you understand me? You are mine. You've been a teacher's pet for so long. I'll show you what it's like to be your bully's pet. I don't know how long I can hold myself back. One of these days, I might just kidnap you, take you home, and keep you in my basement until I'm sure you'd be my willing little girlfriend. And then... <laughs> Oh, am I kidding? I can't even tell you how I feel unless I'm drunk. <laughs> I don't scare you, do I? I hope I don't. It's fun seeing you squirm, but you know I'd never hurt you, right? I wouldn't hurt you. It's all I've been thinking of for a long time now. How would I ever hurt you? I want to take care of you. I want to get closer to you. That's why I started bullying you in the first place. You know, I want your attention. And I think you want mine too. How come you never fight back when I push you around and tease you? Is it because you know I won't do anything too serious to you? Or could it be that... If you like me back, nerd, and you to you do yourself all this time then I swear I'll break in through your window and strangle you with my own hands for being so kicking. But even then, hold me back, please. I want to hear your voice. The least you can do for me after not turning up. You know, those neon balloons that I saw earlier? I think those were headlights. Yeah. For whatever reason, I'm starting to sober up now. I'm beginning to question whether this was a good idea. If you even dream of telling anybody at school about this, I really will lock you up in my basement. I'm wondering if I should press delete. My finger's so close to the butt. But I can't do it. Because I have to let you know or else I'll drown under the weight of all these feelings I've never felt before for anyone. If you don't want to be with me, can we please pretend like this never happened? We can, we can go back to how things were before. I won't bring this up ever again. And if your answer is yes, then 
call me back nerd